Welcome back to the channel. I've missed you guys. I was on vacation last week and it was the first vacation I've taken in like two or three years that I didn't film a video when I was away, but I miss you guys. I'm happy to be back and we have a lot to talk about. This video is going to be a breakdown of the year so far because it's changing literally at this point every single week uh, rate hikes will keep coming it's going to make affordability go down it's going to make mortgage payments go up and it's going to bring prices and sales down and we're going to break down what has happened so far this year and then we're going to look at what people are guessing is going to happen in the future and actually go back to look at all the predictions made when the pandemic first started with what prices were going to do by all the big banks and big corporations and just how wrong everybody was welcome back my name is tom i run a real estate team here in the city of toronto and if you like this type of real estate content if you could give this video a thumbs up let's do a like goal on this video of 200 likes that would be awesome and if you haven't joined the community already please subscribe we are nearing 6,000. if you're interested in the recent changes and how it's impacting you as a potential buyer or seller you can set up an appointment directly with me or my team in the first link in the description you can book a buyer call a seller consultation or just a call to chat about the market and finally we did launch a podcast there's six episodes already out and the next two guests we have coming on are awesome we pre-recorded them they're Canadian real estate legends. They really are. I think you're really going to enjoy them. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out the podcast channel, The Tom Story Show. So when I was on vacation last week, I got four calls during my vacation from media outlets that asked me to come on and do the news. And I said, hey, I'm in a different time zone right now. I can't do it this week, but I'll jump back on next week when I'm back in Toronto. And it was interesting because they all wanted to talk about the fact that prices are dropping and rates are going to go up and all this kind of stuff. But a few of them specifically asked me, they said, hey, do you have any buyers that regretted the decision that they made that would want to come live on the news and talk about it? And this kind of sums up where we're at with the headlines right now. Like they only want to talk to someone that regretted their decision. They had no interest in me offering them all the people that were extremely happy because they bought the home that they loved because that's not going to get page clicks. So I'm telling you this to put everything into context. Have prices dropped? Of course prices have dropped. Has affordability changed? Not really because interest rates have gone up at the same rate that prices are dropping. So your monthly payments pretty much the same, if not even more, because I really think that's the perspective we have to have. Are people going to be stuck in situations that are not ideal for them? Yeah, there's definitely going to be a few. Are there opportunities for move up buyers? I can tell you this week alone, and it's only Monday when I'm filming this, I had three different calls stay with clients that want to sell their condo and move up to something bigger because they understand, yes, their condo has gone in, down in value, but their next house is going to be their five to eight year house. And they're okay to jump up right now, even with the uncertainty, because they know net they're ahead of where they would have been earlier on in the year. So yeah, percentage wise, condos are down, but dollar volume wise, they're nowhere near as far down as other property types. And that takes me to the third thing I want to talk about in this video. Predictions. What is happening next? When are the rate increases going to stop? When are prices going to stop falling? And if I'm a buyer, when should I actually get into the market? Now, you might not be satisfied with this answer, but I don't know, and nobody knows. No matter how smart they are, no matter what economic degree they have, they can make guesses, but they don't know. And I want to put this into perspective. I'm going to share a chart with you. I saw a few realtors sharing on Instagram and Twitter. I don't know where it originated from, but I made my own version of it. So shout out to everybody that had shared it already. And what we're basically going to look at is when the pandemic started, Here's what people guessed were going to happen with the real estate market. I want to show you how wrong they were because it's kind of comical looking back at it now. Hindsight's always 2020. Uh, just to keep this in mind when you're hearing people predicting what are going to happen right now. Okay, so let's take a look here. So remember, this was all early pandemic. No one really knew what was going on. But the people making these claims were big banks, big housing corporations. Roy LePage, which is the company that I work for and do a lot of media for, uh, we were all terribly, terribly wrong. So at the onset of the pandemic, TD Bank thought the prices would go up 6%. Scotiabank thought we'd decrease 4%. RBC thought just a little bit of an increase. BMO called no change at all. CMHC said that we would decrease 9 to 18%. How wrong were they? If you would listen to that advice then, you would have lost out on literally hundreds and thousands of dollars in gains. Roy LePage called for a 3% decrease. CIBC for a 5 to 10% decrease. Now, 
they're not just randomly throwing out numbers here. When they made these predictions and guesses for what were going to happen, it was backed up by data and they were still extremely wrong. And I show you this to put this in perspective. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know when the bottom of the market is going to be. But if rates keep increasing, I don't see how prices can go up. They have to either keep going down at whatever rate they're going down in that specific micro market, or they have to stabilize at a certain point. In a world of scary headlines and YouTube thumbnails and video titles that make things look like the world is crashing, just remember, no one knows what's going to happen. Buy a house because you love it. You're going to live in it for the next five to 10 years, and you will probably historically be in a better position in the future than you are today. If you have any questions or you agree or disagree with me, totally cool. Put them in the comments. I will hang out there and respond to as many as I can. Have an amazing day. My name is Tom, and remember, home is where your story begins.